Let's begin our section on items. Introduction to items. In understanding the theory behind items, it's important to think about a couple of things. We use items in QuickBooks to help us more efficiently process transactions. Let's cover four points about items. The first point, any line item on a purchase order, invoice, or estimate must be set up as an item. Let's come here under Customers, Create Invoices. Down here, for any line item we want to have on an invoice, must be set up here in our item list. Second, items make it easier to fill out sales forms. In other words, if we were to sell a doorknob here, we bring it in and QuickBooks completes the rest of this line item on this invoice. Items act as pointers for financial statements. In other words, items handle the behind the screens accounting for sales and purchases. Let's go back to our item list. See this account here, this column here for account? This tells QuickBooks what account to charge transactions to. For example, when we sell cabinets, this goes to construction materials. So QuickBooks is handling the complex accounting behind the screens when we set up our items. And the fourth and final point is items allow you to track quantities purchased and sold in addition to dollars purchased and sold. So by setting up items for our activity and the things that we do in our business, we're able to track a lot of valuable information. Now, how much de detail is necessary when setting up items? The rule of thumb is to set up as much detail as possible to get the full benefit of items. However, remember there is a limit of 14,500 items in a QuickBooks company file. A good method is to set up individual items only if it will be used more than once. If an item will be used only once, a generic item would be appropriate. And we're going to show you how to set up a generic item in a later video.